Hey everyone, this is Vickerman and welcome to John Schaefer's At The Gates. This is sort of a late Rome sort of civilization game. Uh, it's, it's from John Schaefer, who's the designer for Civilization V, that's his pedigree. Um, so pretty, pretty big stuff here. Um, and just like Civilization V, this is a 4X game, but it is set a little more specifically in time. Uh, this is right around the fall of the Roman Empire. So uh, you choose the tribe that you want to play, and the goal is uh, to sort of supplant the Roman Empire by either uh, diplomatic means or uh, by uh, conquest as well as another victory condition. So you can see all the different uh, factions here. The way that it's laid out is actually quite a bit like... Uh, I believe Medieval 2 Total War did something similar to this in that to unlock these factions you have to either d defeat them or uh, form a military alliance with them in the game. So the only one that's going to be uh, available at the start is going to be the Goths, which uh, is actually pretty nice for beginners because you start with a bit more food and treasure and that's going to be pretty key to get started because this beginning of the game is actually quite difficult uh but in a, in a good way we'll see how that works here uh just uh, should mention that uh, i did obviously receive a pre-release key from the developer to uh to make this video so they could be released today on the release date uh, and, and so the game is available now if you'd like what you see. Um, but uh, we're going to jump right in with the Goths. And every game is indeed procedurally generated. They do have a, uh, a seed that you can reference if you want to go back to the same world. But it is all procedurally generated here. So part of the initial challenge is figuring out what's going on here in the area that you get. You don't actually get to uh, like settle like civilization sort of way. But the cool thing is if, if you ever feel like it, you can just pack up and move. And you can do that at any point. And you'll see why that's important once we start collecting resources. So it uh, looks pretty familiar, I would say, if you've played civilization games before. But there's some key differences here. Uh, so the way the game is structured as far as units and stuff like that is that the tribe here, this is your your civilization, uh, for lack of a better term, is your tribe, which is the Goths for us. You only have one actual settlement uh, ever in the game. That's my understanding of it. Um, but obviously you can move it around. You can get control of areas by other means as well. But there's only ever one settlement. And the reason for that, I, I think, is because the strategic choices uh, are really more about these these guys here. So these are the clans. So we have Clan Detmar, Clan Ralf, and Clan Sorrel. And uh, these are sort of, so you think of the tribe as the entire civilization. And then the clan is sort of one step below it. And they're the actual units. Um, and it, they function in a similar way to population in civilization. Uh, because you can assign them different professions. Um, and that can affect your resource gains and, and what you actually have. Some of the professions are also military professions, so they become units out on the map. And some are resource collections. That they're also out on the map. And uh, so there's settled professions, and then there are, like, uh, I can't remember what the actual term for it is, but uh, essentially it's a roaming profession. Uh, and they're, they can go out onto the map and interact with it, either being military or building resources and stuff like that. So each clan has two traits as well, and that can affect uh, how, how you want to use them. 
Uh, so, for example, this guy is well, but the, these this clan, he's not a guy. Is gregarious, um, which means training time for social professions are halved. So, if I'm looking at the professions. I might want to give him a social profession, especially because he gains no experience unless it is a social profession. Experience is pretty important to make sure that you get the most out of the clans. So really this guy should be in a social profession unless we have some other immediate need that we do that. Low fertility, family growth rate reduced by one quarter, and the resource production is decreased by 10%. Resource Production from constructed constructed uh, structures decreased by ten percent, and max health decreased by ten percent. That's pretty bad. Um, yeah, so that means that this guy is just going to be pretty ineffective at any sort of resource gathering. So we'll want to give him some sort of social profession and probably something in the town. I think that's the way that we're going to want to do that. Now, this guy is quite the opposite. He's efficient. He's got resource production increased by half. And passionate. Minus one turn to train. Experience gain in all disciplines doubled. Obsessed with every desire. Likelihood of having desires tripled. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. So the desire uh, makes them want to switch their professions or something. So this is telling me that maybe this clan can just randomly uh, decide they want to switch. And if you don't do it, they get un unhappy. All right, so we got afraid of water. Three turns needed to enter tiles with streams. Two turns needed to enter marsh tiles. Now that's kind of bad if you got a lot of rivers, I suppose. Is that right? Uh, a major terrain obstacle. Oh, yeah. That could be bad. Especially since from a cursory look at our starting situation, we actually have quite a lot of that going on. And what's your other trait? Violent. Power increased by half. Okay. So... Whew. Okay. So is this marsh as well? It is. So we see in the lower right hand, I'm just making sure that I didn't cut that off, you can see the terrain information here. And what we have here is an unidentified plant. So we can't really use it until we identify it. We have a beehive there. So not a ton of resources here. I'd really like to see what that thing is. So the first thing we have to do is decide how we want to train our clans. And it's actually going to be kind of an interesting choice here. So I think maybe the first thing I want to do is I really want to get that identified and identify that plant, especially since we already have a negative food balance. That could be really bad if we let that go, especially if it gets into the winter. So we will train in profession for a reaper. So these are all the professions that you start with. Um, and they all do sort of self-explanatory mostly. Like reapers can get from wheat, barley, and flax. Gatherers get all these things. You can see the, the pictures as well. The hunter is kind of unique because he's actually a military unit, but... Uh, he also harvests meat. So what I was thinking was train this guy first to be a um, reaper uh, because they can actually identify the plant and then we can put it to use. I don't think there's any other food source in our uh, main territory at the moment. Well, I guess technically they can eat the honey. Um, so yeah, we, we may do that as well. So now we've got, uh, oh yeah, so we can see the full, okay, we can see the full, uh, well, it's not the full actually, it'll add more, but it's telling us maybe the next two levels. So, um, uh, what I'm thinking here is each one of these, 
and yeah, let's just condense that for now. Each one of these is an area for professions. The first one in the set is a little bit different because it unlocks all the rest, but what it does is once you research this, you can give people two free levels in the profession without actually training them in the profession. And the levels carry over to the, uh, I'm sorry, it's the, the area, I guess you would call it. So like, oh, discipline. Discipline is the name that they call it, that's right. So this discipline of crafting has stuff like Uh, weavers, wood carvers, potters, wood bundlers, loggers. So all those would get the same experience. Um, so if you're thinking of training someone in that area uh, relatively quickly, you're going to want to do that. But I think once we get the Reaper, our next thing is going to be probably to make the social guy into an explorer. I don't think that's technically a social thing, but he'll start getting some experience in this that uh, discovery tree, which has a lot of social professions in it that we'll eventually switch him over to. That's really all we can do the first turn, so we'll go ahead and finish. All right, so we, d we got another clan. So we'll want to see what they're about. Surveyors. They start in the surveyor profession, which I'm not sure what that does. Oh, okay. Ah, so they... That's fine. So he's a surveyor, which means... They can identify any kind of plant or resource. So that's pretty cool. Um, can we actually, we can't forage there. So why don't we just have him go ahead and identify that. I think these are the same, so they'll both pop. But uh, what I'll do is use my little bonus thing. And I'm going to use it on him. And I'm going to train Explorer. So we're going to go and explore a bit. And then... Didn't I already do that? Yep, okay. So now we choose what we want to do next. And I think it's going to be crafting because I probably need to start getting me some wood sooner rather than later. So we'll do that. We're actually going to get another clan in one turn. This thing over here tells you when that's going to happen. So that's good. And we'll finish our turn. After I do that, I think the next thing I want to do... Uh, livestock. We don't really have any livestock at all right now. Alright, so let's go to the settlement here. You can also hit spacebar to just pull it up anytime. I'm going to have the surveyor lead. Grab the explorer. We're going to explore a bit here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. That's fine. Click that a little too soon. I want you to go over there and identify that. And you are going to identify that one. And we're doing crafting. Which... I think we'll go ahead and use, do it on you. And get you the wood collector going on. All right, so the next thing I want is gonna be agric 
culture. And the reason for that is we'll be able to build a farm after we do that. Finish. All right, wood collector. So what you can do is go over here and you're gonna start chopping wood the next time. I'm not gonna have you do that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just I'm not sure. I think we'll just have you wait for the moment. And if you have nothing to do with training clans, you can just do that to get a little extra gold. So I'm gonna have you go over there. Oh wait, you're the explorer. Oh, you can construct a path as well. That's kind of cool. So identify that and you're gonna keep exploring. So we got that, we wanna do farmers next. Did I get a new clan here? No, should next time though. Starts in the gatherer profession. I may be able to do that outside of the thing. That's kind of nice. All right. I'm just gonna have you leave and we're gonna see what we got going. Can you do this? Does this require Forging allows you to harvest a tiles research without construction sugar. Essential in the early game. Convenient always comes with a price though. We'll spend turns it has enough supply foraging to automatically camp on those it doesn't. You can override this behavior by using Okay. Doesn't sound like you should have to own it for forage, and I believe that's the case. Who are you? <laughs> Met Serdric of the Saxons. Greetings, stranger. I seek a fair and friendly relationship with you. Are you of a similar mind? Yeah, it's nice to meet you as well. So we're just let anything important come up. And we have a caravan, which is kind of nice because we started with a bunch of extra treasure from being uh, the Goths. So I think what I want to do is upgrade the caravan. And that has um have quite a bit more stuff. Like forever. So we'll do that. Yeah, because they don't have too much that would be of interest. Although it's probably a good idea for us to purchase some food. Because it's going to be a little tight here, I think. Now, unfortunately, oh yeah, it takes them like three turns to move in there. That is bad. Real bad. Let's 
something I need? Is there something I need? I don't think so, not yet. Deserted farm. I wonder if that's a like a goody hut sort of thing. We've identified that is grapes. Alright, and we can train farmers now. So what I'm going to do is have this guy go in and we're going to have him retrain as a farmer. It takes one turn. That's good. All right. You identify that. Why don't you go and identify this one here? Okay. So... Probably not a bad idea to do that. That's good. That's very good. All right, you can start collecting berries then. Northman. One movement point needed to enter snow tile. And all discipline tra training time for subtle professions increased by half. All right, so they want to be moving about and such. That's fine by me. Uh, because... Yeah. Why don't we just do that? And we'll train you as a hunter to get started. And you get started on that. Are these neutrals? Yeah. So they shouldn't attack me. Now those are bandits. They will. All right, from the next thing, I think I want to get loggers so we get more permanent and better logging operations going on. Although it's probably fairly important that we get... Uh, Okay. We don't have enough timber. We're only getting two per turn. That's pretty bad. Well, since we upgraded the, the uh, caravan, they should have some amount of wood, I believe. So I guess just in camp for now. All right, that is iron that we've identified there. Buddy, you're probably not actually the best choice for this sort of thing. I 
Now train loggers. So why don't you go and do that? Whoop. Okay, that's fine. You got to be a little careful about sending people out too far because there is sort of a supply thing that's going on. So we don't want... We don't want to run out of supply on our units, especially the explorers, because they're running out real far. Yeah, let's go with Watchmen. They allow me to build uh, like a, a thing that gives me more territory around it. So that's quite important for me, I think. So they're probably more suited towards uh, home stuff. So, yeah, once you have weapons, you can start expanding your territory forcibly, which is kind of neat. Well, by that, I mean just clicking the button for it, you know. Did you bring me some timber? Sure did. Let's buy that. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just to give us some more options later on. Barley has been identified. Uh, I really need you to come back and start building some roads. Mostly to help out that dude who has that horrible river thing going on. One more turn on that. Almost there. Oh yeah, we're not harvesting anymore. Alright, we're getting close to the uh, good old... Winter. That's nice, we managed to avoid the... Uh, What is that? Wheat farm. It sure would be nice to capture that if we could. Managed to avoid the river for him. Alright, so should probably be thinking about what we want to do. 
Oops, keep clicking the wrong thing. Yeah, kind of like lore keeper for the extra stuff there. Okay. Four turns. Can we do that here? Uh oh. Low supply. I just don't want to give away that bonus if I can help it. So we're going to do that for you. That's quite good, you don't have to pay anything for that. Oh, well look at that. We've already got the expansion going on there. So for, th for, for that now, we're gonna go with livestock and we're gonna actually get that guy going. Build something there. So since we've got that area already, we can send this guy down to get that going. Should be just a couple more turns. <laughs> Perfect. And that will hopefully mean that this guy will be able to uh, train up more quickly as well. Ranchers it is. Charismatic. Okay, 
we'll just kind of use you for whatever. And we do have an iron deposit there. So that'll be the next thing we start thinking about. So do you have to build, yeah, it's, I'm not real sure. Do you have to build that there? Oh, immobilized, interesting. Excellent, that'll be quite good. It's got quite a lot of skill then. Well, okay. One more turn. I think we might... Tell you what. Let's do that because we really kind of need more wood. Alrighty, so early January, New Year, go to time as any to, uh, yeah, looks like you do need to build it there, which is interesting. So that should help things out a bit, uh, as far as movement goes. I don't like wasting a lot of time and movement in my own territory. But anyway, we are going to end the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed the first part here of John Schaefer's At the Gates. And uh, stay tuned for some more coming up as we continue our campaign as the Goths. Hoping to unlock some new ones as well. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you know when that next video comes up. See you then.